Hello, everybody. I don't know if there's anyone out here yet, but let me check on my computer. Okay, I see there's one other person on here, so I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes, see if anybody else wants to join us. Today we'll be doing arts and crafts, um, such as this one right here, a little butterfly. I've been trying to find little activities to do around the house, be creative, and use the supplies that I have at home, because I know right now it's kind of hard to go out to stores and find uh, things that we can uh, buy that we would normally need for art activities. So lucky for me, I have a few items here that I'm guessing y'all might have, like crayons, glue, scissors, and any kind of paper. I have construction paper, different colors. So if you have a child who goes to school, most likely you'll have some of these supplies with you. Um, one of the things that I'm focusing on today is household items like little paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. Usually we throw these away, but we can find some uses for them if we use our creative minds. Let me give it one more minute, see if anybody else shows up, and then we'll get started on making our little butterflies like this one right here. This is uh, one of the projects I saw online that I really enjoyed. And I kind of made some adjustments because I didn't have all the supplies. But that's kind of the fun of it too. You get to be creative. You don't have to do it exactly like the guys online say. Um, I also have a few more that I like to do. Um, they're used to make um, little plants. But if you check online, go to Pinterest. That's my favorite. You can find a ton of different ideas that can inspire you. And like I said, again, you don't have to do it exactly like they do it. Um, for instance, you make these little houses right here. Use your paper towel rolls. You can use any colors you like. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use paints. Um, those are other supplies that I have right here as well. I have some little different paints right here. Red, green, yellow. You can choose whatever color you want. Now those are optional, you don't have to use those but you do need to have something to color with. I also have little glitter packets. You might have stickers at home or any other little thing that you can use to decorate. Some more glitter right there. Ribbons, strings, these are useful for hanging things. So if I wanted to make my little butterfly fly, I could tie this ribbon to it right here and get the blood around. But I like to hold it like this and Kind of make it flutter its wings. Okay, so we have a few people on right now. I wish I could see, but or who it was, but I can't tell. Um, if there are any parents around, um, please make sure to help your kids with these projects, especially if they're using scissors. If you're one of my kids, hello, I miss you. <laughs> um, make sure that you're um, getting the help from an adult or someone older, brother, sister. And either way, it's really good to do this with family. It's alone, but it's always better if you have uh, your mom, dad, brother, sister working with you. Now, the reason why I want to do arts and crafts is because being stuck at home like this can be really boring. <laughs> and watching TV all the time, playing video games. That's fun, but it doesn't really um, help your brain develop. It doesn't get you uh, new connections, new learning. You wanna keep your brains working and healthy. And one of those ways to do that is to just be creative, make stuff. It's a really easy, fun way to do that. Okay, we're gonna get started. 
So in order to make our butterflies, we're gonna need one toilet paper roll, just like this. You don't have to take all the paper off. I couldn't get this part off, but that's fine. You're gonna choose a couple pieces of paper, whatever color you like. So I used orange and yellow for this one. I think for this one I'm gonna use See, a nice purple and pink right here. Okay, and like I said, I found this idea online and there's guides, step-by-step -step guides to help you do it. But one thing I like to do is to just look at the picture, the finished product, and kind of try to figure out how I can make it or how they made it. So instead of relying on them, on their instructions, you kind of break it apart and try to figure it out. So that's how I made this one right here. And in order to make this one, I figured, well, I have the paper for, sorry, the toilet paper roll. And it looks like they had it covered with either paper or paint. So that's what you can do. If you don't have enough paper, you can take this, grab a crayon, whatever color you like, marker, paints, and just color it in. It might take a little bit longer. That's one option. Or you could do it like I did right here and take your paper towel roll and kind of wrap it or yeah, wrap it in the construction paper like this. So to start this off, um, this is one piece of paper right here, the yellow. So we're going to, let me move this down, put our paper towel roll to put it towards the edge, just like that. Take a crayon and mark off the sides, just like that. Hope you can see that. So I took my crayon and I marked off the edges of both sides of the toilet paper roll. So you, have, you should have something like this. Now, you're gonna make the wings so and actually, I put that too close to the edge. If you want to make the wings go down here, you're going to have to leave a little bit of space right here. So you can make the wings however you like. Kind of make them rounded on this one. I might make them a little bit pointed on this next one. So you can leave your roll like that if it'll help you out. And then just draw out the outline for the wings that you want to make. You can use whatever color crayon you want. You're gonna cut along this edge so it might not even show up in your finished product. But there you go. See, I made a uh, pointed wing, the top and the bottom right here. And you could dry it out so it's the same on the other side. But a trick that I like to use is to kind of fold it over so that you only have to cut it once and it'll be perfect mirrored on both sides. So in order to do this with this one, since we want to leave this center piece right here for the toilet paper roll, we're going to first fold this line onto this one right here. So it might be easier if you hold it this way and then kind of Check where the edges are right there, make sure it lines up. Fold it over. So that's half and half right there. You can see this is the middle line right there. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna fold this whole thing over on this center line right there, the orange. should look something like this. So now you got that center crease right there. Let me check if y'all have any questions so far. Hi Mia, it's nice to see you. Hola Sonia. Carlos, you can make a, a mosca if you want. <laughs> you can make whatever you like. So I'm showing you how to make a butterfly, but if you are creative enough, and you have the motivation, you can make whatever animal or character you like. I'm gonna stick with the butterfly for this one. So now I have the center line right there. 
I folded it this way. Let's see where the, the center is. We fold it the other way now. So you just have one blank side with a line right here, and then the wing on the other side. Now you take your scissors. You're gonna be real careful. You're gonna cut and leave this center piece right here. Go along the edges. Remember it. Make sure you have an adult or an older sibling to help you out with this. Be safe with your scissors. And it's okay if you cut outside the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can always fix it later if you want to. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the folded paper like this. That way I only have to cut it once. And then like I said, we're gonna leave a little bit of the centerpiece right there. So I have a strip. And then when you open it up, it should look like that. So these are my wings. And now the reason why we have this little strip right here in the center is so we can glue our toilet paper roll onto it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this side. Make sure as you're working that you keep your desk space clear. It'll make it easier to uh, get your work done here. Okay. So I have my wings, my paper towel roll. Now what's next is to decorate the body for the butterfly. Like I said, I like to wrap it in the construction paper. And an easier way to do this, a little shortcut, is to kind of align it, make sure the towel roll is on the edge right here. And then take a crayon or something to mark with and make a line on the top. Just like that. So it should be as long as the roll right here. Now you can cut this part right here. So you won't have to I'll help you out in the next step so you don't have to cut out the top part with the paper while it's folded over. It's a little hard to cut it if it's like this. Okay. So now I have my strip, my roll. I'm going to take my glue. And you can use any type of glue. And I'm going to cover the roll actually instead of the paper. And I'll show you why in a sec. Make sure you get all the edges, every side. And I like to keep a little towel next to me so I can clean off my hands because this glue gets pretty sticky. So I have one right here next to me, clean off my hands. And now you're gonna put your roll down Press the paper against it, and then you're just gonna roll it. I like your rolling dough. It's back and forth, back and forth. Make sure you get that glue on there. And then you can cut off the extra right here. But make sure you live a, a little bit of the strip right here so you can glue it back onto it. So I have this right here, a little bit of a strip. Put my glue on that piece of strip, just like that. And I'm gonna fold it over again, roll it or press it, and there you go. You have the butterfly's little body. So now, just like on this one right here, we're gonna put a butterfly's body right at the center. So if you cut out your paper, you should see there's a this little edge right here. You can cover that up by putting the glue on this side and pressing that against the wings. That way it'll be hidden, it's on the back. So put a little bit of glue right there, glue on the strip. And then 
carefully. Push it down. And you can put your fingers inside to press it down from the inside. Just like that. You had it upside down. And then you have your body with the little wings on it. And now, remember, you can do this any way you like. You can decorate it any way you like. What I did is I just drew on the wings with crayon and I had some of my little glitter decorations and put these on there as well with glue. Some eyes. I usually have googly eyes, but I think I left those back at homework house. So I made these out of paper. So you can use crayon marker. You can cut little shapes out. For this one, I think I'm gonna just dry it on. So I'm gonna use a darker color. Let's see, I have a little black right here. I'm gonna draw on some friendly little eyes. A nice little smile. How's that look? A little bit of a happy face. A little bit more right there. Give it a little bit of color, some red. Maybe add a little bit of tongue. There you go. A little butterfly, happy face. And next we're gonna do little antennas on the top. So if you read the instructions that we sent or the uh, materials that we're gonna need, I added that we could use an optional cardboard piece, just like this. I use a box from Cookie Baking Sheets. You can use a cereal box or any type of cardboard you have. If you don't have cardboard, that's okay. You can use construction paper again. Um, but I wanted to make sure it was strong enough to stay up just like that. So what I did is I glued a piece of construction paper on this side of the cardboard because I don't want this part to show up. So you can see right here, this is the part that I glued on, the yellow paper. And then on the back, I just colored it in. So that's an easy way to do it. I'm gonna show you if I do it with some red. So you're gonna take your paper, and you're gonna find the piece that you want to cut out. So I'll use this strip right here. All right, remember, I don't want this to show up on my antenna, so I'm gonna cover it with this red paper. So now you have this back side and then the color paper on this side. And then you cut this part out. Just like that. So now I have a strip of cardboard with cardboard side on this side, paper on this side. You could also put paper on this side if you like, but for me, I think it's easier if I just color it in with a crayon. So I'm gonna make this side blue, and the other side is gonna stay red, the card, the construction paper. So now very carefully, I'm gonna cut this down so you have a strip just like this. Cut that in half. A little bit thinner. You can make them pointed, you can make them round. You can use something else for the antenna if you like. If you have pipe cleaners, that works pretty well. Or even straws. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave my antennas right here, clear my space. So I have two little antenna with red on one side, blue on the other side. And what I did with this one right here is I kind of made them twirl a little bit. So to make them look like that, I held my antenna and wrapped it around my finger, hold it tight, and then you pull it 
just like that. And you should give it a little twirl just like that. Again, wrap it around my finger, press it tight, and then pull both sides just like that. You got the little twirl. Now we're just gonna glue it on the inside of our butterfly's body. You see it's hollow on the inside. Put a little bit of glue right there, and then you can place it wherever you like on the inside just like that. It's a little bit tricky. It's easier if you have tape or maybe a stapler, but I'm gonna try to make it work with just this. There we go. So if you use the paper side, it'll stick a little bit better. Twisted it the wrong way. I'm gonna put it on the other side. One sec. It's okay if it doesn't work sometimes. It's fun to find new ways to do it if one way just doesn't work. There we go. It's a little crooked, but I kind of like it like that. You got your two little antenna. Your butterfly wings. Now the last part is where you can be the most creative. You just decorate the wings any way you like. So if you have glitter, you can use glitter, just glue it on. I'll take some of these out right here. I have some little flowers right there. Put a little bit of glue on there. to rush through this. Do it at your own pace. Take your time. The point isn't to to have a perfect finished product. The point is to have fun and enjoy the little relaxing time you get to yourself. There you go. It's a little bit messy. Clean my hands again. I think I'm gonna finish off with decorating with crayons. So a little bit of blue. You can use whatever pattern you like. You can draw little hearts on there, little stars. A little star right there, right there. So now I have my little butterfly with the decorated wings, purple body, antennas, different colors, a nice little happy face. And if you hold it like this, you can make it flutter its wings just like that. So you can use any color you like. If you don't like the eyes like this, you can make different types of eyes. You can make it wink, you can make it angry, you can make it have a different facial expression. Maybe it's not happy. Maybe it wants to be silly or angry. And like I said before, if you have some string or some ribbon, just like this, you can tie it to the top, and that way you can make it fly using the string. Okay. Any questions before we do the next one? You can always come back and watch this video again. If you missed a part, it'll still be saved onto Facebook. Okay, next activity I wanna do is, I'm gonna put these away. I was looking online, Pinterest, and I found this right here. So again, we use the little toilet paper rolls, but instead of an animal, they made little potted plants. And I think I wanna to try to make this one right here. So 
So like I said, I didn't look at the instructions. I just kind of want to figure out how I could make it myself. So it looks like we have a toilet paper roll we use for this part here. Now we can either cut it all the way through in half and then glue the paper for the cactus on the inside, or we can try to make the cactus a part of this cardboard right here and cut out the shape on this. That way we don't have to glue anything on there. So I think I'm gonna try that. Let's see. I'm gonna start off with a marker to help me make the outline. So I know for sure this part right here is gonna be the pot. So I'm gonna make that line right there to mark it off. And then I have to make the shape, the outline for the cactus, just like this. And you can make it any way you want. I'm gonna to try to copy theirs. So it looks like there's one big round piece and then another little friend on the side. Just like that. And then there's some flowers on there as well. So we'll add those on there. There we go. So we have our pot, we have the cactus, and then the little flowers on top, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is Make sure I have the line for the pot going all the way across. And I'm gonna carefully take my scissors and cut the outline, including the cactus right there. You might have to fold it over like that to make it easier. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it any way you want. And if you change your mind, you could always make it look different. You can start over. You can add new things to it. Maybe you want more than one cactus. Maybe you want to add some animals on there too. More flowers, whatever you love. If you really want your brain to be working, it's better to be creative, to make up a new way to do something rather than just copy someone else's. I'm looking to cut out the little flower right there. It's a little bit tricky, but I think I got it. Okay, so I got through one little flower, cut out one more. And remember if this is too hard, Cut this out. You can always draw the cactus on a piece of paper, cut that out, and then glue it on the inside of the pot instead. Okay, one more. cactus, two little cactus right there, little friends, with flowers on top. And now, I'm gonna cut off a little bit more right here. I'm gonna clean up my space. There we go. You see, all that's left is to color it in. So for this, you can use anything you want. You can use crayons, markers. I actually have paints that I have set up. So I'm gonna use red, green, and yellow. Red, green, yellow. And actually, I might use a Sharpie too to make that little design on the pot. So, got my little paintbrush here. If you don't have a paintbrush and you do have paint, one other thing I like to do is to use little Q-tips. Usually have these at home. And you can use this as a little paintbrush too, just like that. Takes a little bit longer, but it still works. 
I'm gonna use my paintbrush for now. I'm gonna use my red. Just kind of spread it all over. You don't have to use red, you can use whatever color you like. If you don't have paint, you can use crayons, markers, or you could even use a construction paper and wrap it around just like we did with the, uh, the butterfly. A little pot, una maceta. I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush so I can use it again. Now I'm gonna color in the uh, green, the cactus with green, just like that. I'm just copying the picture I saw online, but you don't have to make a cactus either. You can make any little flower you want. There we go. So we have the pot done, the cactus. I forgot about the uh, flowers actually. So I'm gonna see if I have a pink. I don't have pink paint, but I have a pink crayon. So I'm gonna color that in. I hope once you're done with this, you can share what you made with us. Maybe post it on your Instagram or share it with us on Facebook. We'd love to see it. There we go. There are cactus, pink little flowers, and you see here on the picture, you make it a little bit bigger. You have little yellow lines with the little needles for the cactus and a little black design for the pot. So I'm gonna try to make the yellow design using, using my Q-tip since it's a little bit smaller. Take a little bit of yellow there. Just draw. Looks like there's some lines going straight down just like that. Going around, just like that. And then a few little needles. Make short little lines, just like that. And those are your needles. One more for the other side. Cactus with needles. The good thing about this one is you can keep this at home to decorate your room and it won't poke you. It's a little bit safer than the real thing. Okay, I'm gonna put my paints away. The last thing was a little potted plant design. So this is what I have so far. And I'm gonna use, actually, if you cut off a little bit from here, from the bottom, you can open it up a little bit more, just like that. So I cut off a little bit right there and right there. Now we can open it up. Okay, I'm gonna use a Sharpie for this design right here. So it gets one straight line all the way across. I might just do it on one side, the side that you can see. It's a little bit hard to do because the paint hasn't dried yet. I 
think if you're trying this at home, you should wait for it to dry up a little bit and then you can use Sharpie or crayon. Okay, so I got that. I'm gonna make the little triangles on the bottom. dots on the points right here. So at the bottom of every point, just make one little dot, a little circle. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm playing music in the background. Whenever I'm doing art projects, little craft projects, I like to play some calming music. So I turn off the TV, no shows, no cartoons, nothing out in the background. Just some calming music, or even no music at all. Just keep it a little quiet. It's nice to work in silence too. But the point is, no distractions with TV. This is your time to take a rest, to relax your mind, to have fun in a different way. There we go. So I have my potted plant with a little design on it. And I didn't do the back side, but you can do the whole side or you can make a more complex design on there. And I have my cactus right here. You can see on the back, it's just a part of the roll right there. Painted green, yellow, the little needles, and then some pink flowers on top that I did with crayon. And it should be able to stand up just like that. So if you make enough of these, you can have a little garden. You can make more cactus, a tree, some flowers, anything you like. Perfect. All right, let me see how much time we have left. Looks like our time is almost up, but I can show you some quick little ideas that you can also use. So I have this little strip that I cut out from one of these rolls. And one thing you can do using paints is to use this as a little stencil. So I have my paint right here. If you kind of put some paint on the edge right there, you can press it against paper and make little circle designs just like that. I think if I make enough of these in a row, it might look like a little caterpillar. I'll try to do that. Let's see. Oops. I accidentally made two on this, but that's over. Okay. I think we can use that to our advantage. So maybe these two circles can be the eyes. Just like that. I'll make a mouth right here. Got a little antenna right there. So even though I messed up and put two circles side by side, I can still fix it. And it makes it even more fun. Maybe add a few little legs. Perfect. And just for fun, I'm gonna give him a little hat. Now, I made a little caterpillar using my toilet paper roll. And you can make whatever you like. If you can fold this to look like a heart, so sort of poke or pinch one of the sides just like that, and fold it over. It's kind of tricky, but you can almost make it a perfect heart. Let's see if this works.
Almost. It's harder with my hands because my hands are a little bit bigger, but you might be able to do it yourself. There we go. Close enough. <laughs> Clean off my hands again. Show you the other ideas that I had or that I had found that I want to do so we don't have enough time to do these but you can also make little roll cities just like that make your little houses maybe you make your house you can make homework house so what they did here is they used a piece of paper folded in half and taped it to the top of the roll that'll be your little roof and then just cut out little shapes, and even cut out a little door for your door right there. You can make some Easter designs, like a little chick and an egg. You can make a bunny. And that's the one I just showed you right now, the little stencils. So there's a lot of different ways you can use Things like this, your rolls, paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, or anything else around the house that you would normally throw away. You just have to be creative with it. Um, maybe find some ideas online, but there's a use for everything. And part of the fun is just figuring out how to make it work. I hope you enjoyed, how to, or enjoyed uh, following along. Um, if you do make something, I hope you share it with us. I'd love to see it. Maybe we can post it. But join us next week, I think on Wednesday. I will be having another story time, and I hope to see you all there. I have a few more books I want to read to you. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you.